Hi, I'm Russell Weidick, and you are watching the Dangerous Fishbowl channel. Over the years, I've learned a few things from my battles with algae. I don't use synthetic chemical treatments because I have no idea what side effects they'll cause. Recently, I decided to try New Algae, which is a micronutrient supplement specifically designed to encourage the growth of diatoms. These diatoms will then hopefully outcompete cyanobacteria for resources, resulting in clear water. I made sure to follow the dosing regimen given in the product literature. Here I am dosing my 150 liter tank. And now I'll dose my 260 liter tank with a proportionally larger amount. I will also add some jungle val, otherwise known as eelgrass or Vallisneria americana. So now we're comparing new algae alone with new algae plus jungle val. Okay, it's now six days later. The 150 tank looks like an algae exhibition. It's awful. But the 260 tank is noticeably clearer, as you can see. And now it's 20 days after the first video. The 150 is undergoing a catastrophic algae bloom. The 260 is essentially unchanged. And now, finally, it's 29 days after the first video. I've changed the water in the 150 and planted some valves in it as well. The result seems to have eliminated algae growth. The 260 actually looks a bit clearer as well. But there's more to this story. I took the valves from another tank that I have. In the weeks after I removed them, the water quality sharply deteriorated in that tank. I guess their rapid growth was removing a lot of nitrates. So based on these results, I would have to endorse jungle valve for eliminating waterborne algae. However, it's not without its drawbacks. It propagates all over the substrate and can rapidly take over a tank. It also blocks the surface and requires frequent trimming. I'm not sure what to make of new algae one way or the other. Algae is a complicated problem and any particular approach may only work in some cases. I would also advise against feeding too much flake food, which is usually rich in phosphates. That was part of my problem here. I also feed sliced cucumbers to my catfish, which are phosphate rich. They've grown to such a size that I'm not able to cut back, so I'm stuck with that problem for the foreseeable future. This is why my bowls are so much clearer. Finally, if you live in an area with high phosphates in the tap water, that can also be a problem. But I don't advise using phosphate binders because some of them contain toxic metals. Oh, and don't forget amano shrimp, which eat all forms of algae other than the waterborne variety presented here. Until next time, good luck keeping your water clear.